In today's video, I'm going to share with you some very simple techniques that you can use in Lightroom to create amazing sunset photos. Hi, my name is Tom Sloan and I'm a landscape and portrait photographer. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you an edit session of one of my sunset photos that I took at Lake Whitehall State Park. And in this edit session, I'm going to show you how to use very basic techniques in Lightroom involving the basics panel, a few masks, the tone control panel, and finally the calibration panel to create amazing sunset photos. If you find this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment down below. I really appreciate getting feedback on these videos. Let's hop into the edit. So this is the sunset shot that I took at Lake Whitehall in Hopkinton. And I'm going to start off in the develop module and I'm going to do my typical edits here. I'm going to bring down the highlights, open up the shadows. I'm going to open those up quite a bit on this one. Uh, I'm going to now find my white point and I'm going to hold down the alt key and slide that to the right until I see things starting to clip and then I'm going to bring it back. Now I'm going to take my black point and try and find that once again holding down the alt key and leave some pure black in the image. Now I'm going to add some vibrance. We'll go up to about 15 or so. Maybe add a little bit of saturation to this. Okay, that looks good right now. And at this point I want to add some masks to this. I want to add some glow to where the sun was going down behind these trees add a little bit more punch to it. So I'm going to add a mask and do a radial gradient over that area. And I'll just open that up and drag it. Right about there. And what I want to do here is I want to add some temperature to that. So a little bit more yellow to that and a little bit of magenta so there's a little bit of purple in the sky so i'll drag that to the right a little bit and a little bit of saturation so let me turn that mask off and on it's off and on. As you can see, I've added a good bit of punch to that. And now I want to bring down the sky, so I'm going to add another gradient, a linear gradient this time. And I'm just going to drag down from the top. I want to reduce the exposure on the sky. Maybe add a little bit of saturation to it but I'm going to bring down the exposure. Right about there. It's about a third of a stop down. I'm going to add a little bit of saturation to this. And maybe cool it down a little bit with the temperature. Okay, so one more mask I'm going to add here is I want to brighten this up a little bit just to add a little bit more color in, into the trees and a little bit more up the exposure. So this time I'm going to add a brush to this and we've got auto mask on. And so I'm just going to take this brush and just highlight these trees, the darker area. Okay, and what I want to do is add a little bit of exposure to that. Bump that up a little bit. Not too much. 
about there. Open the shadows up. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of saturation. Just to see what that looks like. there. I think that looks good. I'm going to bring down, I'm going to actually subtract some of that to this area back here. It's, it's a little bit much. I think there was light coming through, but I'm just going to reduce that area right there. So I just held down the Alt and did a it changes it so it'll pull that out of that uh, brush. And I think I like that. Let me just turn these masks off and on so that you can see the impact. That's before adding the masks and that's after. So there's a nice glow coming through the sky um, where the sun went down. So close down those masks. And now I want to add a little bit of um, a little bit of contrast here. So I'm just going to do a little simple S curve for this minute. Up the highlights a little bit, and then bring down the shadows just a touch. And we'll toggle that off and on as before. That's after. Okay. So the last change I want to make here is to this calibration. I've been adding saturation in the blue primary uh, in the calibration slider. So I'm going to slide this. Usually I put it around 50. I might go just a little bit more here about right. So let me just show you the impact. I'll toggle that off and on. So it's adding blue to all the colors in the image. And as I toggle this off and on, you can see it really does make those colors pop. I might bring it down just a little bit. Maybe right there. Okay. So that is the image. Just one more thing. I'm going to go back to this mask and I think I'm going to drop the sky down a little bit more just to close it up, kind of balance the light. And that's, uh, those are all the changes. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Well, I hope you found that helpful, and if so, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.